Hey you guys, uh, wish I could have uh, brought you this video under better circumstances, uh, but I just kind of wanted to get out there my unedited, uh, unfiltered uh, thoughts and opinions, uh, and kind of my tribute to, of course, the legendary titan, the titan in acting and uh, film, uh, Sidney Poitier, who died at 94. Uh, today, um, I was literally just talking about him the other day, and I was like, wow, you know, he's 94, like, look at all that, you know, what, good for him, you know, and then <laughs> a few days later, this happens, and, uh, can't say I was surprised, I mean, the man was 94 years old, but, man, it's, it still sucks when you hear it, you know, uh, because he's someone, he wasn't just an actor, you know what I mean? Because let's take a look at In the Heat of the Night, right? That scene where he slaps the white man across the face, that was such a powerful, game-changing moment. I mean, if that had happened, that wouldn't have happened in the 50s. And I think that's what's so great about it, was kind of him paving the way for black actors. I mean, really, he was the first black movie star. Really, I mean, no one even came close to his popularity. Um, well, of course, there was Hattie McDaniel, but she was just playing mammies. That's not empowering or anything. But what Sidney Poitier did, he brought so much grace to the screen. He brought so much elegance. I mean, not everybody... Well, some people don't agree on how he went about taking his roles. But look at it. He basically kicked the door open for every African-American actor who came after him. I mean, there would be no Denzel. Denzel says Sidney Poitier is like the one he looks up to the most, right? And Denzel is one of the greatest of all time, but you wouldn't have gotten uh, actors like Morgan Freeman or Chadwick Boseman or, or any of them. They all... oh everything to Sidney Poitier and you know man it's so tough because I watched um, in the heat of the night and guess who's coming to dinner so I guess you could say I'm uh, fairly aware of you know some of his biggest work but man I gotta take this opportunity to check out some of his other stuff like his Oscar winning performance I mean he was the first African American man to win best actor for lilies in the field and that's no, that's not just some feat, you know. That is a legendary moment, not just in film, but in history, in society. I mean, this guy was a civil rights activist. He was a diplomat. I mean, hell, he was even running Walt Disney or something. He was on the board of direct. I don't know, but he was part of the Walt Disney Company for a while. This man did so much, and he did it with such class and such grace. Uh, the world's going to miss him. Uh, we really didn't just lose a screen legend. We lost a great man. And Godspeed to you, Mr. Potier. Uh, we will always remember you, and thank you for everything you've done.